Hey, what's up guys? Today we are working on a 2010 Volkswagen Tiguan. This has a two liter turbo in it. Customer complaint is check engine light, EPC light. Uh, the vehicle uh, will intermittently stall out on startup and it has no throttle response. So uh, I will show you, show you the throttle first and then we'll go to the scan tool and see what kind of trouble codes we have. This vehicle runs very poorly. Check engine light is on, EPC light is on. And I'm gonna hit the throttle a few times. No change in RPM. So let's go to the scan tool, see what kind of trouble codes we have. 2010 Tiguan. What kind of codes we have. Okay. And what we have is a P1545 throttle valve controller malfunction. Uh, I had no throttle response, so that would make sense. Let's see uh, what kind of data pids we have under the OBD. And uh, data pids I'm looking for, accelerator pedal, throttle position. There are two, two pedal position sensors and then there are two throttle body position sensors. So that's what I'm looking for here. Throttle valve angle. Pedal sender, throttle valve. Should be two each. Throttle valve two. Pedal sensor two. I believe under expert mode, this is uh, measure value block 62. We'll go to list view. Pedal position one, pedal position two. Flip the throttle a few times, see if we get any changes on here. Sender. Graph some of these. So I'm going to push the pedal to the floor. So we're on this one we have a 14 to 88, and then the other one should be a roughly around half. about 45 90 that looks pretty good that tells us that our pedal is working but our throttle angle is not changing I'm gonna switch this to expert mode and uh, that's gonna give us the two pedal position sensors and the two throttle position sensors that I have I just might feel a little bit better under the expert mode From OBD2, our, our pedal is responding. I 
Right, so going under expert mode, and I believe it is measure value 62. Two of these are the pedal position and the other two are throttle position. So these two down here a pedal position. You can see our throttle is not changing at all. Um, there are two throttle position sensors. One should be one volt to five volt signal and the other should be a five volt to one volt signal and if we scope them they should cross each other. So in theory this one should drop this 80 should drop to maybe, I don't know, 10. And the 20 should jump to about 80. They should read opposite of each other. So we have good inputs from our pedal. Uh, what we need to do is go out to this throttle body, check it for control, check our position sensors. Just gonna go under guided component test, get some information. This is a 10 TIG one. All right, so this vehicle uses an electronic throttle control. There's no cable uh, from the accelerator pedal to the engine. Uh, the electronic throttle valve control module consists of two angle sensors and a throttle drive motor. The electric motor is used to, the electric motor is used by the PCM to change throttle valve openings according to the signal received from the accelerator pedal Dual angle sensors are opposite in resistance and are used to cross-check throttle position. Um, so that would be that would be if one pedal position sensor goes bad, you still have half throttle. So you would still have some type of limp mode to get you somewhere. Um, that's not what we have here. There are two sensors inside this throttle valve, and then there is a motor that is reverse polarity. So the ECM will reverse polarity uh, this motor control, so pin three and pin five, if this is right. So that's where I wanna go. I wanna make sure that we are getting control to this throttle body. Uh, we had good inputs from our pedal position sensor. So gonna go straight to the throttle body. We should have um, some type of control. So here is this throttle body. Um, I have a six pin harness installed. It's gonna give me easier access to these pins. This is a VW special tool. This is not mine. Everyone always asks me where I get these. It belongs to the dealer. It's not mine. Anyways, um, what I noticed, security tab is broken on this throttle body. I don't think that that's our issue, but just making a note. So there's the throttle body, uh, pins three and five. I'm gonna take my scope, hook it up to pins three and five. We should have a reversed polarity signal on there. All right, so pins three and five, if uh, got a component tests were correct, that should be my motor control from the ECM. So this yellow one, pin five doesn't matter which lead um, I just want to see a reverse polarity signal on there there's three blue is three so you guys see where I'm at and I'm gonna keep you focused on here I'm gonna go hit the throttle a few times all right I'm gonna hit the throttle I am hitting the throttle, I'm not seeing anything. Right, so, we know our pedal 
pedal is good. Why aren't we seeing anything? I have no throttle response. I wonder if this is one of those systems where it goes into a limp mode and the computer just doesn't even try to use it. There should be some type of adaptation, I think, when you first cycle the key. I'm going to cycle the key real quick. The key's off right now. I'll turn the key on. There we go. We've got something there. Make the scale bigger. On a 50 volt. Do that again. Go back, stop that. So here is our control. So when you first turn the key on, uh, I guess the computer tries to do an adaptation and uh, this just confirms that we have control going to this throttle valve. Um, if we have movement would be the question. So what I need to do now is bring in my pedal position, or not my pedal position, my throttle position sensors and uh, see what they're at. One should be a one to five volt signal, the other should be a five to one volt signal. Let's do that. All right, so I'm just gonna add some channels on here. And let's go back. So this is the control by the ECM, no uh, pedal input here. This is, uh, I guess, the computer self-test. And uh, it's seeing something that it doesn't like and it's flagging a fault and we have no throttle control. So I'm gonna bring my pedal, I keep saying pedal, I'm gonna bring my throttle position sensors in here. There are two of them in the throttle body and uh, when it does this, we should be able to see some pedal position change. All right, so we know we have control. I'm going to take one of these off. This one is gonna go straight to ground. And that way, I will have a ground for my other my uh, throttle position. Add another channel there. Connect these grounds. And we'll use the red channel. We'll turn these channels on. I'm using the green one. I'll put that on one uh, throttle position sensor. I'll use the red channel, put that on one throttle position sensor. Go 10 volt. Okay. Not sure which is which. So this would be the factory wiring diagram. Pin three and five, ECM control. And then we would have G187 and G188. Those are our throttle drive angle or throttle position sensors. There's two of them. And they share a 5-volt reference and they share a ground. Pin 1 is going to be one throttle position sensor. Pin 4 is going to be the other. One should be 1 to 5. The other should be 5 to 1. So pins 1 and 4 is where I'm going with these green and red channels. Green, we're going to put on pin four, and red, we will put on pin one. All right, so we have, well, <clears throat> see on our yellow channel, which is going to be uh, one side of the control from the ECM. We have 3.3 volts on there. Um, on the green one, which would be our throttle position, uh, it's our pin four, I believe. Uh, we have one volt there. And on the other side, we have 
four volts on our channel three. So those are our position sensors. Lower this down. So when hitting the hitting the pedal, this green and red channel should cross over each other because one is a five to one, the other is a one to five. And we should be able to see control from this throttle body, but we don't have any control using the pedal, so I'm just gonna have to cycle this key on. Key's off. Cycle the key on. We have control, and we'll stop that and go back. Okay. So I'm looking right here where this control is on this yellow trace. Let me get this out of the way. And we do have a little bit of movement from this throttle body. Um, but I would imagine it would be a full sweep. So it looks like our pedal position sensors are only moving a certain amount. I guess the, the motor see if this motor is bad in this throttle body and it can't move all the way then the pedal position is not going to be its full sweep do that again I'm gonna hit the pedal a few times I don't think we're gonna see anything but there's our control I'm hitting the pedal right now, and we have nothing. Stop this. We'll zoom out. So right here is our initial key on. This is uh, the control, I guess, when the computer is doing its self-check, and we do get a little bit of throttle movement. And what I'm thinking is... The computer is just not even allowing the accelerator pedal input to be applied because it doesn't like what it sees with this throttle body. I would imagine that this should be a full sweep on either one of these. And the computer is not seeing that. So it's not even allowing any input to this throttle body. So the other thing too would be to check our 5 volt reference. And our ground, check this five volt reference. And I'm going to check the ground. Going to these throttle position sensors. If those are good, what I wanna do is uh, take this charge tube off and physically move this throttle plate if I can and see if these pedal position sensors respond. If they do, this needs a throttle body and what we have is damage to the motor or uh, an issue with the motor and the motor is not spinning and in turn with that the pedal position sensors are not going to change and the computer doesn't like that so it's not allowing any input from our accelerator pedal so let's check the 5 volt reference check the ground back to the diagram pin 2 and pin 6 are going to be our five volt and our ground. Whichever one is which, I'm not sure. So pins two. Let's go on pin two first. There we have a five volt reference on pin two. That is good. And pin six should be a ground. Point zero four. All right, I'm gonna take this charge tube loose and I'm going to physically move this throttle plate and see, uh, we'll keep our channels of our position sensors on there and if we get some movement, then this thing needs a throttle body and there's, there's an issue with the motor. So, get this charge tube off. So I got this charge tube off 
and I went to reach my hand up in there and uh, there's like a paper towel or a rag jam in there. I haven't pulled it out yet. Let me show you. Grab a mirror. So right where my mirror is, tip of the throttle body, there's a paper towel shoved up in there. Pretty obvious somebody was here. I am beginning to think that this vehicle was in an accident. Uh, when I was getting this charge tube off, this AC line that's right there to the left was just super close to the clamp. And uh, just a couple other things just look bent on here. There's a couple new parts. So I'm thinking this thing was hit in the front end. But uh, there's a paper towel shoved in there and it looks like that is jamming the throttle body. So I'm going to pull that paper towel out and we're going to recheck our signals and go from there. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, it drops up. <laughs> Unreal. There's still something in there. There's still pieces in there. It's jammed in there, I guess, from when the throttle body first tried to open up. All clean in there. Put us back on our uh, throttle position sensors and uh, first turn the key on and see what this computer wants to see. So the motor was jammed with this paper towel. Was not expecting that. Let me button this back up. Okay, so I got it all put back together. Uh, I haven't turned the key on yet. Let's do that right now. Turn the key on. I didn't see any control, but we had it because our position sensors moved. I'm gonna move this lead. Try it one more time. Okay, there's control. See our pedal position sensors moved a little bit. Maybe what we saw before. Oh, it runs much better. Right there we can see our control on the yellow. Move those out of the way. There's our throttle positions that cross over each other. One is a, looks to be about four and a half. Dropping down to about one and the other one would be about half a volt. Going up to about four. Turn this key on one more time. This would be, I guess, trying to figure out where the idle is. See these, uh, I guess these pulses are idle stabilization. There's no idle air control on these. It's all done with the throttle body. So that, that looks like that's what's going on right there. 
couple dropouts. Those might just be interference with my leads. And I'm not gonna worry about that. Shut this key off. Throttle does its own little adaptation when you shut it off and when you turn the key on. See it doing it right there. Hold it to the floor, let off. Hold it to the floor, let off, and go back and forth. You can see the control, you can see the green and red channels crossing each other, those are our pedal positions. So we'll go back in. Check out our measure value block 62, which is the pedal and throttle position. Get some known good values. Okay, so the top two, throttle position one and two, pedal position one and two. You can see uh, with the Pedal position, one should read half the other, so we have a 7 and a 14. I'm going to hit it to the floor. So now we have a 44, 88. And the other two for the throttle should be opposite, so basically one should be a 0 to 100, and the other should be 100 to 0. Or in this case, let's see, on this side we have 16, one side we have 84, hit it to the floor. And now we have 87 on this side, 12 on this side. Basically, those should read opposite of each other. So this would be a known good. Try to start it up. See what these read at idle. So 14 and 7 on the pedal position. 13 and 87 on the throttle position. Some known good values for you guys. While we were getting ready to call for a throttle body, we had control going to this. Um, a little bit of movement with our position sensors. Good five volt reference, good ground. Looked like it needed a throttle body. Come to find out, pull the charge tube off, there's paper towels shoved up in the throttle body, preventing it from moving. So I guess when you first turn the key on, the computer does its check. Didn't like what it was seeing because no throttle valve movement. And then there was no accelerator pedal input from there. Was not expecting a paper towel to be up there. So somebody was in here clearly. But uh, almost had a throttle body. Well, would have had a throttle body put in it if that rag wasn't in there. <laughs> but uh, you never know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.